I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on Diels Alder. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator and author of the Dat Destroyer and Orgo Man books. I'm going to go over two easy problems on the Diels Alder that are a sure bet to land on the Dat, and then I'm going to do a challenge problem that I think you'll totally be electrified with. So come around and let's have a look. In the Diels Alder reaction, we're going to form a six membered ring. So that's the concept. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a dienophile and a conjugated diene reacting. This represents the conjugated diene and it's going to give four carbons. We're going to stick to carbons. You're going to have a Diels Alder reaction with other heteroatoms, but for our purposes, we're going to stick to carbons. Now, the conjugated diene is going to contribute four carbons, and the dienophile contributes two carbons to the six-membered ring. So I'm going to number these so no one gets lost. These are not RU-PAC numbers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the arrows as shown. I move and form my six-membered ring. So there's three arrow movements. So if you keep track of the numbers, you would be able to see what I've just done and I made a six-membered ring. Notice that one, two, three, and four makes up one, two, three, four here, and five and six are the other part of the ring. The double bond is moved between two and three. I've connected four to five, and one to six is shown. This reaction is stereospecific, and it's one step. So that means that that these groups that were trans, they stay trans in the final product. So this would be a wedge and a dash, or you could have a dash and a wedge, which would make the enantima. So I'll just write one of the pairs of the enantima. If we go to B, once again, I'm gonna number, these are not all your packed numbers, but there's the four carbons of the conjugated diene that are gonna be involved in my ring formation. There's five and six. So there's one, you always have three arrows, two and three. Notice I'm gonna come over to here. Now, we gotta be a little careful here. This double bond, one goes up and one goes down, that's an E double bond. Here, one goes down and one goes up. That means that both double bonds are E. That would mean that both of these groups are going in the same direction. So notice I put wedges, or you could have put dashes on it. In this case, it wanted them at it. They're going in the same direction. There's my one. The double bond is between two and three. There's my four, connected to five, and then six is connected to one. And you've only used one of the double bonds, so one remains. These are two must-have reactions that you're going to need for the DAT. Come on over to the board and let's look at a challenge problem. Now, this is not an easy problem. What I want to do on this case is to show how this molecule, plus any needed reagents, can make this. The first thing I do is look at the red. That is this over here. So I'm looking at some structural similarities. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this, and I'm going to disconnect this. And I hope you can kind of see that if I move this bond here, and I did a Diels Alder, and if this was a triple bond, I could do a Diels Alder and snap it into place. If you can't see that, I'm going to go through it nice and slow, and it's important for you to understand the moves that I'm going to make. All right, so let me just restore back where we were. All right, this is what I want to make. I'm going to build on two carbons. Now, how would I build on a two-carbon vinyl to a cyclohexane? Watch the move. Bromine and light puts on a bromine. I then bring the vinyl group in very cleverly through a quarry house. So I use my dialkyl lithium cuprate and I put on the vinyl group. Now I got my vinyl cyclohexane. I'm gonna treat this with NBS peroxide base and that's gonna put the bromine at the allylic position right here. I'm gonna heat it with sodium methoxide and ethanol 
that would give my E2, and that would install, I'll put the double bond here, it might be easier for you to see. I get my double bond here, here, or I put it on the outside, it doesn't matter. Now, once I get this, I'm gonna take this, which is here, and I'm gonna bring in my deals older. So I'm gonna move the bond here, this bond moves here, and this bond moves here, and I snap it into place perfect. And as you can see, that would be the desired target molecule. I hope this gives you some idea of the world of organic chemistry, how it's like a game of chess. You don't need to be this good. All I care about you understanding is the moves that I made and you'll be on your way. Like last summer, 72 of our students from my group got a perfect 30 on the DAT. Compared to this, the DAT is gonna be a joke. So you got any questions, you hit me up on the study group and I'll see you when we get to study group. Okay, good day to you, bye-bye.